In Delaware County, some certain patrols are at a football game. My Uncle Matt Petrello is live at police headquarters to tell us what happened. Go ahead, Uncle Matt. Matt, thank you very much. The varsity team at Boys Latin Charter played their first game since the deadly shooting outside of Roxborough High School. Boys Latin played its first game as CBS3 takes you to the local scrimmage. So we're being told that a 14-year-old boy died and parents say it was important to go to today's game despite the outcome that happened on Tuesday. Well, security was increased around the South Philly super site where that game was played at 10th and Bigler streets. Now police continue to search for Roxborough shooting suspects, but earlier this week, police recovered an SUV as a getaway car. It was reported stolen earlier this year. If you have any information, you were asked to call the police with a $45,000 reward leading to one arrest and conviction. A former Philadelphia police officer is now facing charges. He's accused of sex crimes involving young girls. His name is Patrick Herwin, and he was arrested on Wednesday. With that being said, he should not have done that in the first place. What gives him the right to do it, you may ask yourself? Well, your answer is he should not have done all those crazy stuff like that. That's the answer. Well, the district attorney's office says there may be more victims and Larry Krasner's encouraging anyone to give his office a call right away. In Mercer County, a security senior and community center broke fire today. We're being told that it took place on Lower Ferry Road in Ewing Township this morning. That is under investigation for some time. No one was inside at the time the fire started to occur. A boil water advisory happens in parts of Pennsylvania like East Norton, Whitpain, Plymouth Township, and even Norristown, Montgomery County. So we're being told that you have to be careful and stay safe no matter what you do in life. As we continue tonight, we have lots more news to get to. Stay with Eyewitness News for more right after this.